session we would like to create a function module which actually enables us to get the data from VBAP table. So VBAP table is something which uh, we have. This is a VBAP table. This is a sales order item data. And for this, we are going to go ahead with the. Uh, we're going to create a yeah so we are going to go ahead with the vbap data and this vbap data uh, we want to create a function module we'd like to create a function module and as we discussed in the previous session uh, we have to create a to create a function module we need to make sure that we have a function group and this function group uh, can be once created and used for multiple number of uh, function modules so here we are going to use this uh, we are going to create this function group in sc80 transaction and then in sc37 we are going to create the function module so function group can be anything so for example the jzdxc underscore fg10 function group 10 and sc37 we have a zdxc underscore fm10 so uh, yeah, FM10, and we will be creating a data. So we'll be we, our concept is that we have we have to pass the VBLN value, and we should get the list of all the item data uh, in from VBAP. So we'll be giving VBLN as an input, and we'll be getting uh, data from VBAP data. This is what we'll do now. For this, um, we'll be writing the select statement. So in this, we'll be writing import parameters. We'll be using import parameters. In import parameters, we have to use this VBLN. Tables, we'll be using, we'll be declaring something like Z, uh, no, IT VBAP. The underscore will not be accepted here. And we'll be writing IT underscore VBAP like uh, like that uh, you know, structure zst underscore vbap so this zst underscore vbap should be created in sc11 so we need to create this in sc11 and then we have to make use of that here so we'll go ahead with so we need to create this in sc11 and then we have to make use of that here So in SC11, we'll be creating the structure now. ZST underscore VBAP with that fields, with fields, uh, with four fields. Okay, I'm just giving four fields. Those are like VBLN, PVSNR, MATNR, MATKL. So these are the four fields from with which we can will be creating a structure in SC11, and that structure will be will be assigning. I mean, like when we are declaring the internal table, we have to give like something. So that like something will be given as ST underscore VBAP now, and uh, we will be writing this import parameters. We will be using import parameters. We will be using tables, and then we will be using source code option. Source code. So these are the three options that we are going to use in this particular uh, program. So additionally, what we are declaring is tables. In this particular uh, function module and in, in this tables can be either input or output input or output, both uh, either it can be input or it can be output so let's create that now So I'll be creating a. Yeah, I'll, I'm using the local object. Z. Okay. So we have to first make sure that we have the function module here. So 
so we'll just make uh, we just check function group is already there so this is already there but for our understanding i will create one more function group so that we can understand it even more better function group zbe underscore g2 So we just created this function group here. We need to make sure we activate this. Right click on this and activate. So once we activate the function group, we can go ahead and create the function module. We can create the function module from here itself, but I'd like to create it in SC37 now. Later we can try it from here. SC37 is uh, dedicated for this uh, creating the SC37 is for dedicate is dedicated for creating uh, function modules. ZDXC underscore sales item data create set v a g2 sales item data so we will be writing this vpln type vpln underscore va but as we discussed like we have to first create a structure because we in the tables we have to declare internal table it it vpap like type will not be accepted here like this zst underscore vpap so this zst underscore vpap have to be created in sc11 now so we'll create a uh, in data type we'll create structure create structure sales order item data and here we'll go for b b e l n type b b e l n underscore v a and then we have p o s n a type pvsnr matnr type matnr matkl type matkl so we just need to activate this So this st underscore vbap zst underscore vbap is created here so now we can say enter so like so sales order item data will come so we have used in import parameters we have used vbln and in tables we have used it vbap now in the source code we'll just write the logic here so select um, select VDLN PVSNR MATNR MATKL from VBAP into table IT underscore VBAP where VDLN MS underscore VDLN no not in this so it should be equal to equal to the import parameter that we have done here so for our understanding we can go for something like l underscore vbl 
and we can write here rename yes so we can write here equal to l underscore vbn but if you want to give a range you can give a range also uh, how to give the range also i will explain you but first let us execute this program so in the import parameters what did we give vb l underscore vbn which is actually something which we are giving input to the system and then we have tables in the tables we are using id underscore vback like st zst vback and exceptions we have not used yet source code we have this just activate this okay this shouldn't be it underscore it should be it data we may give this something like 5000 and execute and you will get you got some four values so there are four item data for the for the for the value uh, 5000 and now what we'll do is we'll go ahead with the uh, using this uh, function model in our program so there will be a lot of complex function models which we are going to make use of in the sessions so we'll be going ahead with the uh, utilization or uh, consuming this function model in our program web program So in this we are going to call that function module. This is uh, zdxe sel underscore item. So this is the function module. So let us take that function module here and click on the pattern and give that function module name. Say OK and automatically it will come. And here we need to pass the VBN value. For that, let's declare uh, one parameter. So within the within the program, we will be declaring the variables. So the variables that we declared there will be only specific to our function module. Again, we have to do it do it here as well. So parameters p underscore vbln for v for vbak hyphen vbln type type sorry type we should for, type, for uh, parameters we should write type type vbln underscore va. And before that, we'll be declaring data it underscore SQL type standard table of zst underscore SQL, which we already created. Now here, and also we need to create a work area to get the output. So w underscore SQL type st is zst underscore SQL. So here we'll pass p underscore vbln, and here we'll be getting it underscore SL. So once we have done this, we are passing the data from internal table to this uh, internal table within the function module to our internal table in the program. So we'll just go ahead with loop at it underscore SL into w underscore SL and loop w underscore SL hyphen VBL w underscore SL hyphen PVSNR W underscore SL hyphen MATNR W underscore SL hyphen MATKL. So these are the values that we have. Sorry, this should be uh, what was the structure name that we have declared? VBAP so ZST VBAP So 
so we have activated this now we can just pass the value of uh, bbn and that's 5000 and we'll get the list of all these things in the output so we have these these values are there in the output so this is a simple function model which we have used in which we have passed the we have passed the vbln value that's a sales order number value that's in, that that we have declared in the import parameters then we have we have uh, we have got the data from the vbap table into it vbap and then we are uh, we are printing that or the write statements we are writing in the program that's what we are doing in this in this program One minute, I'll be I'll be sharing the screen again. <laughs> 